Great, okay, let's look at some compression. I want to just try and um, kind of crunch up these claps a little bit more for starters. So if I put the dynamics in on the claps, and I'm going to put the ratio at about four to one, which seems to be my go-to ratio, and the release on as quick as it goes. Once again, it's my go-to release time. And I'm just gonna turn these up. And as I turn them up, you should see two lights come up here. If I crank all these all the way around, you can see how this light's coming up now, giving about 60 dB of gain reduction. That's too much for me. I just wanna get a little bit going on. I wanna make it a little bit crunchy, but maybe around about there, about three dB of gain reduction. So I'll take that off now. And then on. Quite cool, it just gives it, I don't know, extra little bit of crunch. The claps aren't particularly a dynamic sound. Um, it's just more the tone of the compressor that I'm trying to um, use really, as opposed to trying to level out the claps because the claps are really just a sample. Same thing with the kick. I'm gonna mute everything apart from this first kick. Now the kick is obviously a sample as well and has got quite an even dynamic range. So what I'm gonna try and do here though is just make it a bit more bouncy. So let's turn it up to about four to one with the fast release. Okay, that's giving too much of a tone there. Giving around about three to six dB of gain reduction you can see on the meters. I just want a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, that's certainly quite cool. I need to listen and track, though, with the rest of the drums. A little bit less on here. Cool. That's sounding quite good. Okay, let's look at a bit of um, compression on this beatbox stuff. So I'm just going to... Solo those, turn the compressors on, put a ratio of my standard four to one, fast release. I don't want heaps, I just want to try and you know, dirty, this up, dirty this up a bit and make all the mouth sounds come out a bit more. It's probably a bit too much. That's quite cool, around about 3 dB of gain reduction or something. Once again, just using my ears, but you can see on the screen here that there's about 3 dB of gain reduction. I'll just bypass it. Yeah, it just gives it more energy. You can hear the energy that comes from just having the compression going on. That's pretty good. Just bypass that. Yeah, you can really hear that. That's cool. Wicked.